Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and uh, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And honors to you brothers out there on the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And I want to respond to this video, which, you know, I didn't even watch it. I know I just didn't have the time to waste. But I saw the title and I thought, you know, I'm going to skip watching seven minutes of a, a bunch of dark souls trying to break down the condition of our people and then just just skip straight to bringing it out the scriptures, which is the truth. All right. Now, they're having a debate here. Racism does not exist. Blacks suffer because they're immoral. Debate on the fallen state. Now, in actual fact, according to the scriptures, it's both. All right. Racism does exist. All right. Our condition is directly uh, connected to the racism, the oppression, the wicked oppression of the so-called white men who are the Edomites. All right, that's not debatable. All right, the present condition of the so-called black man, Hispanic man, Native American man who are the Israelites is as a direct result of the actions and policies of the so-called white man in every area of life, you know, in every social department. Whether you want to talk about the education system, the media, the list goes on. The, the entire system is geared towards what's known as so-called white supremacy. Even in this age of what's known as political correctness. That the uh, Edomite supremacy is completely ingrained into this society. And it's supposed to be that. Because we, we were not put in captivity under our enemies to, to be at ease and to 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 um to be tr entreated well we will put on the right enemies to suffer and that leads me to why i say that it also is because our people are immoral all right our own actions also uh, 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 contribute to our own condition all right so it's both in fact it began with our own actions so let's get that in the scriptures because the reason why the so-called white man is was able to put our people into captivity and possess our substance in the first place is because we put forth our hands to 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 wickedness. All right. So let's get that in the scriptures. All right. So we were wicked. We sinned against uh, our our power we sinned against Yahweh Ba Shami Shai who was who had a hedge around us from our enemies and because we sinned against him he removed that hedge and allowed our enemies to, to come pass around us. This is Psalms 125 and 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not which you could call that racism. Alright for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Because you could be racist, right? But that doesn't mean you can affect someone else's life. The issue with the so-called white man is not only is he a racist, but he also has authority and power to to um, a, a, apply that racism on a daily basis. Because this is his society. This is for the we, now we could be racist, but we we can't affect the so-called white man because we don't control we don't control anything that concerns them. We don't control. Uh, the, the job market we don't control any industry we don't control the media we don't we don't control none of that so we can't actually affect this man even if we are racist all right which you should be for the rod of the wicked in righteousness for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity so if we never put forth our hands unto unrighteousness and immorality as they said then yes, we wouldn't be in the condition that we are today. And furthermore to that, our Im Im immorality and our wickedness, even to this day, actually worsens our conditions in this captivity because we do evil unto ourselves. We do evil unto ourselves, man. So it's both. All right, let's get Isaiah. So it's, it's not all racism. All right. 
but it's not all down to to to, to us in so to speak if you understand what i'm saying all right it's it's a dynamic between the two now let's get isaiah 42 and um Verse 18, now this is concerning Israel, you Israelites. Hear ye deaf and look, ye blind that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect, and blind as the Lord's servants? Seeing many things, but thou observest not. Opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honourable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. And, 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 and that's a fact. Our people were a people which is robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth. Meaning we, we, are, we are under the hand of the so-called white man. All right, He is the higher power on earth over us. We are under his authority. He makes the laws. He sets the rules, the regulations. That's why you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you go out there marching on the streets, begging the so-called white man for what? Rights, privileges. Well, he who he who is given the right has power to take away the right. He's the one in authority. The so-called white man ain't marching, asking you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians for a damn thing because you're not in authority. It says, for a spoil and none safe restore. Who among you will give heir to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord? He against whom we have sinned. For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore he have poured upon him the fury of his anger and strength of battle, and he have set him on fire round about, yet he knew not, and it burned him, Yet he laid it not to heart. So it was the Lord that delivered us up unto our enemies as a punishment for our transgressions. All right. And 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 then when you really break it down, Esau, through different means and methods, encourages our people in wickedness and evil. All right. And that's that's in the book of Habakkuk. He, he, he encourages our people to be of a low vibration. That's why we got to come from underneath this man. All right. His philosophies, the, the hip hop industry. Who do you think set all that shit up? Gangsterism, black culture. The so-called white man is at the head of that. He's at the head and manipulating that from the, from the head point. And the reason why, why we uh, uh, fall for that shit it's because we don't have no standard in ourselves because we rebellious. See, if we stood firm to the scriptures, Esau couldn't come in and, and encourage you niggas and manipulate you to do the wickedness that you do. All right? But you don't want to hear the law. You don't want to hear the scriptures, man. This is Habakkuk 2 and 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor, neighbor drink. Like when you go back to the Willie Lynch, Esau instituted the whole light skin versus dark skin. Right? He set set brother against brother and that that hatred still exists to this very day which is a curse but esau gonna pay for that warn to him that giveth his neighbor drink that put his thy bottle to him and makest him drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness yeah esau don't give us the truth esau gives us lies man and those lies uh, uh, are a detriment unto us okay thou art filled with shame for glory Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Meaning the Lord's going to bring the so-called white man down. See, he created the, the filthy, uh, uh, um, low-down, dirty uh, thing known as a nigger, a wetback, all right? Which is really a low-down, dirty creature with no standard, degenerating by the very second. Esau created that. He molded that. He, he, he broke our people down into such a state. But guess what, man? Esau is also going to be broken down into a lower state. All right? But through the spirit of the Lord, the Lord is going to rejuvenate and elect of his people, man. And we're no longer going to gonna, gonna um, follow the way of wickedness and evil and immorality, which is self-destructive. 
Because when you really check it out, black culture, uh, Hispanic, so-called Hispanic culture, you Israelites, the culture you follow is a culture of self-destruction. It's a culture of self-hate. It's a culture of self-destruction. Everything you do is self-destructive. Case in point, you worship and glorify gangs and, and, and things of, of that nature, which over the last 70 years has proved to do nothing more but then destroy you and your families. But you still glorify it and, 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 and go further into it and make excuses. All right. Now I wanted to get another scripture. Yeah, I wanted to get this scripture, man. It says Jeremiah 2 and 19. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee. And at the same time, we're in this condition. But Jake are doing a lot of wick. They do a lot of wickedness straight off the bat. That makes their condition even worse, man. All right. Jake be doing a lot of wickedness and making excuses for it, man. That be making their condition even worse. Like without the so-called white man, Jake be just doing wickedness to each other, man. And that's why the scripture said, Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, because that wickedness turn on their own head, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, and that thy, my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord God of hosts. And that, that's basically what it comes down to at the end of the day, man. You Israelites don't fear the most high. And that's what's led you to the situation that you're in. And you got to sit here debating about whether it's racism that's the problem or your immorality. Really, it's both. The enemy is, is a problem and your own wickedness is a problem. So the first thing we really got to fix, it, 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 according to the scriptures, is ourselves. And then once we're right with our power, the Lord is going to give us the power to overcome our enemies. So in that way, it, really, it begins with our own immor immorality. All right, and the solution is going to be with our own immorality, because once, hey, once, once we're right with our power, man, and we we live in according to the ways that the Lord proclaimed, our enemies have no power over us, man. You go back into the scriptures, man. Our enemies will flee seven ways before us, man, and they won't be able to oppress us and do the wicked shit that they do and manipulate us and all the crap that Esau be doing, man. Because we're gonna have them under the foot. All right. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom.